world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I've utilized my blogs for three main reasons, uh, being that they are, number one, sharing my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism and how I see the world, number two, giving my two cents about what's going on with autism and the media and how I sh see things done or how they should not be done, and number three, uh, covering topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this vlog, I would like to continue well, giving my updates for Dragon Con 2014 since this is Sunday night on August 10th, 2014. And that means that in four days, uh, Dragon Con will only be two weeks away. And I still have a lot to get done, even though things are coming together piece by piece. Um, and um, I would like to give you a little update about what's going on. So yesterday I went shopping at Dollar General and I uh, walked over to a shelf where everything was only a dollar. And they have fabric softener there for a dollar and uh, they had a squirt bottle for a dollar. And uh, I bought those and I got a new brush for my wigs. And what I did was I took one part of uh, fabric softener to three parts of water and put it in, put it in the squirt bottle and I mixed it up and sprayed down my wigs and I brushed them because um, and it took about two hours to uh, get my twilight sparkle back into shape because I mean that wig is can snarl very very easily and it can uh, be a hassle to wear and I wanted to let you guys know that um, a week and a half ago I did some research on making my own uh, wig solution that would um, possibly be able to tangle the wig and um, I uh, didn't even do a lot of thorough research. I decided to uh, try, the si uh, try the solution on my own and I found that it worked. I mean by the end my Twilight Sparkle didn't look up to par but it looked a lot better. And then I also was able to brush my Fluttershy wig, and then I did my Pinkie Pie one. Um, other things that I have noticed, too, is that um, I went to look at uh, the Dragon Con mobile app, and I have noticed that the full schedule isn't even on there yet, and Dragon Con is about two weeks away. And um, I don't want to wait until the last minute to uh, pick up a pocket program when I go through the pre-registration lines in two weeks and um, end up losing it again. No. I want to make sure I have everything in place and a determination as to what I want to get done during the convention and what areas I want to cover and what things I would like to see go up on YouTube. Um, I absolutely hate the pocket programs that they have at Dragon Con and um, I have several reasons why but I will only give you three. Number one, they're very very flimsy. Number two, I hate the uh, uh, the type of material that they use for the pocket program and they don't even have a nice cover on them. They're, they're, they're just these flimsy uh, books with uh, material made out of newspaper and they're only this thick and uh, the pages can tear out really really easy because they don't have a paperback like a novel or something. Um, and then um, they can get lost very, very easily, and uh, again, they can fall apart. I just think they're a waste of trees, and uh, they cause a lot. They cause a great big mess across Dragon Con, and uh, they had invented the Dragon Con mobile app up, uh, but two years ago, and I like that a lot better because it uh, saves trees, and that way, you know, you don't have to worry about losing your phone because you have you have the mobile app on your phone, and uh, if you want to see what's going on, you can just check on your mobile app. I mean, yes, I, the Pocket program is good for a backup, but I think uh, it's a waste of time. So, uh, anyway, um, other areas, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to bring for food and where I want to do it. I did do some research, and I found that, uh, that someone suggested that it's a good idea to bring trail mix to Dragon Con, and um, I don't know where I'm going to shop to get my M&Ms and dried fruit or raisins, whatever. But I, I do have some, uh, some walnuts on hand and I want to mix uh, these items with the walnuts. 
Um, so if you have any ideas where I could get some trail mix stuff, please let me know. Um, let's see. I also still want to go to Costco to uh, get that thing of LaCroix mineral water because um, it's a little over five dollars, five six dollars I don't remember. But I don't know if I want to, want to take that cardboard thing with me because I have to take the bus. But how am I going to fit all of that stuff into my suitcase? Um, if you guys have any idea how I'm going to do that, please let me know. Um, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Good night.